Right. Let me turn this down just a second. Actually, just shut it off. There we go. Okay, welcome to the Mystery Hour. Sorry about not showing up yesterday, so... Where did the spider monster come from? Man, you missed out on the mermaids. That's okay. We're going to catch you up. Um, so, when last we left off, we pretty much filled in the book, and now we are starting to mop up names, and there's a lot of names to mop up. My friend, who is not doing this one hour a day, uh, said she got up to 30 people, and... Oh, no. And, of course, it, it wouldn't be a good stream unless it started lagging like crazy. So that is something we'll have to deal with. Because I have no control over that. So just run with it. Just roll with it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, let's get into it. We have 27 solved. We're three behind her. We can do this. Um, okay, good. <laughs> this is it. Don't scare me like that. So, not 100% sure the best way to go about this, except, like, you just pick people at random and start guessing who they are and how they died. And we've got plenty of things to work with here. There are plenty of bodies. So... Ho-hum. How about this guy? Oh, we know who this guy is. Never mind. What about this guy? No, we don't know who this guy is. How can we find out? Well, let's bookmark all of his memories. And let's see, like... Yeah, yeah. He was in the cargo deck here. Who was he here? How do we get here? Where is this? This is the cargo hold. Alright. So we're going to find out who this guy is. So let's head to the cargo hold. And see if we can't do this. Cargo hold is one down. Alright. So, we are looking for, not that guy, not that guy, uh, no, we actually know who this guy is anyway, and that's E.S., is this gentleman? No, not him. No, not him. Although we need to identify him too. Is the music too loud? It feels like it's too loud. It's got to be some kind of clue, right? God, I picked one that had just a ton of people in it. But this is what we're, who we're looking for. No, no, the guy we're looking for has a mustache. Right? I mean, right? Right? 
Now that's one of the carpenters. These guys are the carpenters. Pretty sure. So who, where is this guy? I, I realized I picked a bad one. Chop off that leg. Is that how the leg died or how the guy died? We put him as John Nipples. Was torn apart? That's not right, is it? Poisoned, maybe? He lost his leg. Like, this, this is where we are right now. Where this guy? Hold him down. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or it's our doom. So what did happen to this guy? Like, while we're here, we might as well solve this. Do they chop off his leg? Where is his leg? There's blood here. It's leading back here. I guess the rest of his leg is over there. I don't know why. Cripes. So, was he bitten? Not poisoned. What do we got here? Clawed, club, crushed, decapitated, drowned. None of those are right. Eaten? Not really. We found the rest of his leg. Fell, froze, illness, killed, sword. Knifed. Torn apart. Not sure how accurate that is. We're still missing that one guy. Is he hidden in the back somewhere? It's not this guy, right? The sword behind him, or was he sorted? Was he sorted? Ooh. Oh! Yeah, no. Okay, we had this all wrong. You're right. Okay. I didn't even think of that. He was sorted by this guy, the Swedish man, whose name escapes me. Uh, Philippe Dahl. Yeah, here it is. Whoa! That's it! We are halfway there. Good times. Great success. Hey, Doom Lad. So what happened to this guy? This is the Stuart. He's in three memories. Bookmark those memories. This is the last memory he was on on the cargo deck. In this one. So he was thrown into the beasts. Well, we can kind of guess what happened to him then. Oh, it doesn't give an option for what happened to him. Just his name. Interesting. Really? We don't have an option to say how he died? What does it say when I go to... Okay, Stuart, Stuart, Stuart. Here it is, Philippe. Captain Stuart, but it doesn't say what happened to him. So it's just listed as unknown. So how many are like that? 
There's a couple. We've actually got quite a few in here. Like, Martin Perot, third mate. We know what happened to him, right? Where's the third mate? He's like super noticeable. That's him, right? No, that's Alfred. I keep spotting Alfred. I don't know who this guy is, but he's in 12 different memories. He's got two triangles. Why haven't we figured out who he is? was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. Shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. We know who shot him. Oh my God, this is way back when. There are three dark ones at the end, so maybe there's more secret chapter. Yeah, there's one called uh, The Bargain, and I bet there's a lot of stuff to be revealed in The Bargain. Let's get out of here. I want to take a closer look at... Uh, well, I thought I was going the right way. I was not. Oh boy, we're going to be jumping through time quite a bit, I can tell. Alright, this is the gun deck. Towards the... What is that? The aft? Gun deck is one more above us. Lots of blood. This guy... Okay, so, here's our man, what's left of his head. He was shot with a gun by this guy. How do we not know who this guy is? How do we pass him by? Maybe we can't identify him in this particular setup. Okay, so we're dealing with two officers here. He's a mate. I can tell because of his funny hat. How many mates we got left? Martin Perot, we know who that is. So this is probably John Davies. Until I know better, I'm going to say that this is John Davies. He was clubbed by Henry Brennan. But who was this guy? Not one of the Stewarts. Well, what do we got, right? He's not one of the mates. Maybe, no, he's not a bosun. Bosun's mate? Where is Alfred? First mate, second mate, something. There's the bosun. He's got a top hat, which means this is probably the bosun's mate. The other guy with a top hat. I don't see any other people with top hats. He was blasted with a cannon by a terrible beast. Let's put him down as a bosun's mate and see what that does. Because I'm pretty sure by his hat kind of distinctly says who he is. I know I'm playing it fast and loose, but eh, whatever. 
This is John Davies. Oh, yeah, because we just said that this was John Davies. So, I just leave this guy. There is no one else that has a hat like that. Like, that uniform is unique to him. Who's here that's unique like that? Not the carpenter or the carpenter's mate. We got a pretty good idea who that is. We might have to play switcheroo with their names. He's not a cook. Actually, we got the cook. Gunner and gunner's mate? Doesn't taste right. Purser? Nah, Purser wouldn't be in a uniform but quite like that. Could he be? No, he does not look Indian. Ship Stewart's about right for that, though. And we start getting into the actual guys. Midshipmen. The top men. The seamen. God, that hat's throwing me off. We might have to move on just to move on. I got nothing for this guy's name. He's with the officers. He is with the officers. Which is crazy. He's standing with all the officers. It's not the carpenters. Could he be the gunner? You want to play fast and loose and just call him the ship's... What's the Captain Stewart? Philip Da. Don't know what happened to him. He is everywhere. Like, he's in a lot of different places. Twelve memories. No, he's not a gunner. For now. Just for now. Until I know better. So... And I, I suspect that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing around with people like that. You know what? These are midshipmen. Yeah, these guys are standing on top. These are top men. They're used to ha hanging. Like these are midshipmen. Maybe not. There are four of them. What kind of rank has four people? Stewards? Could be the mate stewards. Roderick Anderson is one of the mate stewards. Paul Moss. Which is probably wrong. Probably wrong. Sorted by unknown. Spiked. Rick Anderson. This is the mate, Stuart. Met an unknown fate. Five memories. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So, who else are we going to go after now? We could go after the four Stuarts, mate Stuarts, right here. Like... Why is this guy killed by an unknown attacker with a sword? What? Where did he die? Perished in the escape part two. Okay, I remember that. Let's check it out. I suspect there's going to be a lot of bull crap where we're going to have to check people's shoes. Which I hope I'm wrong. But if so, there's going to be a lot of walking back and forth, and I really don't want to do that.
I think this is it. A lot of those later chapters as well, there was a lot of stuff going on that we weren't sure of. Yep, this is Paul. We don't know this guy. He was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. Wait, who was he shot by? Oh, he was shot by this guy. That's the captain. Was he shot by the captain? No, he was shot by uh, Emily Jackson. Whoops. She gunned him down from the boat. This is one of the passengers. But we don't know who he is. And we probably don't have enough information right now for this. I mean, we do. Wait, is he one of the Russian guys? Oh my god, he is. He's one of the Russians. <laughs> I'll bet you anything he's one of the Russians. He does not... He does look ru Russian. Well, remember, he's playing cards, which makes me think that. But I guess they're all playing different games, so. Man, there's still a lot to do here. So here we have what I thought was the four Stuart's mates. But here we have a Stuart that's standing right by the fourth Stuart here. God. I'm playing, yeah, the group with the games, it seems. We might take a closer look at that Russian game. See if we can't figure out something from that. And we might play Switcheroo with all of them, because we don't know how any of them died, I don't think. There's the Italian. Oh, that's, that's it for certain. Actually... Surprisingly, with half of these names done, we, we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good. So, those Russians. It's like way one of the early chapters that the Russians thing happened. Like, I think the second one, the bitter cold, is when we saw the Russians. Yeah, this is the one where we saw the Russians. So let's take a look at that Orlop deck, right? Orlop deck towards the aft. Pardon me. Before I go to the Russians, let me make sure I know who everyone is. Yeah, that's the first mate. We got him down. Hey, there's Brennan. Huh, you know what? What is going on downstairs? What the hacks, man? Uh, was knifed by an unknown attacker. Oh, this guy. Hey, and here's this guy again. Can't get away from him. Oh man, there's still so much to do here. Okay, I mean, while I'm here. Put me down. Let go. Easy now. We're in a 
bad way. This is Squid. Where is my Frenchman? Squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We did it. We left with the storm. The captain came up from the hole. Said he chased it off. <laughs> and you should rest. Curse like that does not lift for nothing. That's talking about the bargain. Where is my Frenchman, he said. This is the bosun. I said that this guy was the bosun's mate. Yeah. I said he was French, so. Oh, man. I was hoping to find more information on this guy. Because he seems to be everywhere. Hey, what's up? Uh, first mate? Yeah. Uh, that's the first mate's quarters. That's how we figured out that was the first mate. Okay, okay. Or lop deck. Towards the aft, which is this side. We're at the aft of the ship already. I'm right in front of it. Oh, hi! Ah, <laughs> oh, good times. Here we go. Three Russians. So yeah, this is one of the Russians. That's one of the Russians. And that's one of the Russians. All three of them have three... Three triangles, and we don't know what happened to them, except this guy who was shot. So how can we determine who these guys are? First, let's find the Russians. They're topmen, aren't they? Two seamen, one topmen. Lynn under the topmen. Quick question. These guys, were they all top men who were firing? He was a seaman. Unknown. He was a seaman. And unknown. We should know who he is, but I guess it just haven't hit yet. So none of them were top men as far as we know. Which means one of these two is top men. I think this guy is the top man. And the way I, reason I say that is because of what he's wearing. Good starting point, right? And then we just play switcheroo with the other two. Again, I am. I realize I'm playing this kind of loose, but now that whoa, using instincts is part of being a detective. Boom. First guess, a, an educated guess. Like, I didn't do it for no reason. 
but it does mean that these two guys, we do have to play fast and loose, because which one is which, and how can we be sure? So, let's take a look at the manifest real quick of these last two Russians. So, we've got Alkis and Alexei. I'm sorry, Al Alarkus and Alexei. Zip ahead real quick. Whoop, not to murder. Too far, too far. Stop your cheating, worrying about yourself. Who's cheating? Cards does he have? A lot of aces in this game. <laughs> that really doesn't tell us. Like, it, it really doesn't tell us. What we have are two Russians. They're both seamen. The guy looking at the hammock. Well, that guy's identified. We just identified him. He's a top man. So... This guy, this guy. But that doesn't really tell us anything. That's that's the killer thing, right? Is that ex there's there's nothing about them that's particularly interesting. Nothing step stands out. They're both the same rank. For God's sake, they're both in their names start with A L. They're, we could call, call them both Al. We gotta play switcheroo with them. We know neither of their fates, like neither of them died. This guy's on eight memories. Maybe we can find him. He disappeared in the calling. Really? I mean, really? Uh, you want to play with the calling? Because Meats hasn't seen the calling yet, I don't think. And I don't know if that's going to help. Real quick. Anybody missing, anybody mentioning the Russian? We have a, this guy, Mother of God. Real quick, how did his friend die? Met an unknown fate. Disappeared. He also disappeared. Son of a bitch. They're both... They're both so similar that they even died at the same chapter. <laughs> Motherfucker. Let's look at the calling. Alright, let's look at the calling. Uh, the calling starts... Because we got to start at the beginning, not the end like we usually do. The calling starts on deck. And then we started moving backwards. Okay. Both probably drowned? Maybe. But remember how crazy the calling was? With all the freaking magic and mermaids and bullshit going on? <laughs> Alright, let's look at the calling. Which one of these has... Okay, this one happened last, so let's do it. We're looking for the Russians. <laughs> this Ahoy! madness. Ahoy! Wait! Don't shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! 
I don't... Don't seem... How did he get that boat back? Nah, that's the king. Looking for anybody else. Oh, hey, who are you? Can't get a good look at you. The boats are roped together, are they? Oh yeah, they are. Who died last? I think the king did. Yep. Okay, Russians. Where are the Russians? This is Nichols. And also, just, just fuck Nichols. Nobody likes Nichols. Nichols sucks. I don't see the Russians anywhere here. Just checking around the edge, see if maybe I find one of their bodies. That'd be nice to know, but I guess it's not that easy. All right, let's check out the queen. Okay. I'm interested in the Russians. No, but here's this guy. <laughs> um, okay, so that's a dead mermaid. Ooh, what? Is that Nichols? Oh, frickin' Nichols. Also a coward as well as a crazy murderer dude. Is that one of the Russians? Oh my god, that is one of the Russians. No, this is the Russian. Right? I'm pretty sure this is the Russian. This guy... And this guy. These are the two Russians. There's the shell. So, okay. No, we don't care about you. We don't really care about you. I kind of care about you. Okay, which of these two people died last? This guy. What about this guy over here? Is this guy the next in the series? No. <sighs> okay, we're in part three. We're looking for part two. Yeah. Oh, this is part three. Shoot. Our tattoo man. Hey, I think that's our Russian. Nope. There's our Russian. He was knocked off the boat or pulled off. We can call him Drown. Drowned by an unknown attacker? I guess the beast. Wait, he said Nichols shoot them? Nichols, sir, shoot him for God's sake. Yeah, but not with a Russian accent. Where is Nichols? This is Nichols. Nichols is cowering. He might be right, though. But the guy who died said that and the guy who died has been speared this is the guy who was talking which means he was probably an Englishman
see who has a gun. Well, I mean, he was talking to this guy, but I don't know if anybody's got a gun. This is when we identified who Nichols was. I think. Okay. Okay. Not yet. Okay, that's ten after, and this guy is five after. This one's next. guy we said was down by the beast. Is that Nichols? That's Nichols. Um. Hey, there's our Russian. We can say that he was drowned by a beast too. God, these guys are so goddamn the same. I asked them if they want ice cream. Both of them say yes. Let's play switcheroo with these guys. And this, this is my first actual guess. You, you look like an Alarcus. This is my first actual guess because they're so similar. I've got no way to, to tell them apart. And you look like an Alexi. Nothing? Okay. You be an Alexi. And you be an Alakus. No? So one of the things I've noticed is that my manifest is smaller Oh, it's because... You think I need another correct answer? Met an unknown fate. We know how he died. We saw him die just like a second ago. He was strangled, wasn't he? Yeah, this guy was strangled by uh, by the king. Bumlin Long? No, Lim, this is the girl. Uh... By, hang on, by uh, this guy who is Ingbing Xia, which I'm, I'm sure I'm getting that terribly wrong. Oh. Where are the Formosans? What? Oh. Okay, but we don't know his name.
I think we can guess that these are all Stuarts of a kind, though. Like third mate stewards, fourth mate stewards. We figured that this is the first mate stewards. I don't remember why. And these two. How many stewards are left? There's a ship stewards, captain stewards. First mate, second mate, third mate, fourth mate. There are six stewards. Where is the Captain Stewart? Oh, that guy. We don't know what happened to him. And we don't have an option for saying what happened to him. But we're pretty sure this is the Captain Stewart. That leaves a guy from Ireland. That leaves a guy from Ireland. Wait, no, something's wrong here. <clears throat> so this guy, I don't think is the steward anymore. I don't think he's the ship's steward. Or I can't say that he's not. <laughs> Why can't I say that he's not the ship's steward anymore? I can't stop that. There we go. Let's just call him an unknown officer for now. <laughs> so that gives us two stewards to play with. And we're judging by the uniform, right? So one of these guys is the ship steward, and the other guy is the second mate steward. Spiked, strangled. I really don't want to play guessing with these two. What were you in? You were part of the murder. Oh, that's right. That's not going to help us much, I don't think. Okay, you were help pushing off. And then you were on all of the calling where you met your end. Tough call, man. Huh. Huh. I know this is exciting to watch. I'm terribly sorry. Huh. One last thing to look at, though. Because we didn't look at the, how, where the other Stuart came from. This guy. Which we were trying to find him, and we kept missing him. We are trying to figure it out? Okay, well.
I just figured out who this guy is. But not right now. This isn't with any of the officers. That doesn't help. I'm trying to match him to see what officers were there. Third mate, first mate. This guy. Third mate or first mate? Second mate. Oh. <sighs> All right, just to play. I'm going to call him the second mate. He's got a nice mustache there. For it and this guy I don't know he looks more Irish than uh, than Indian that really doesn't feel right You think he looks Indian? This guy looks Irish to me. Okay, we're going to do this once. And it doesn't seem to call out which one is which. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say unknown Stuart for now. We at least know he's a steward, right? Oh. And who knows how much of this we just got completely wrong. And if we pick the wrong name on people, that means that if we come across somebody and it's the right name, then we've got that wrong as well. In fact, one thing we might start doing is checking out the manifest of these people, right? And if they aren't written in blood, like if this isn't... Like, do we know that this is Martin Perot? I think we ought. We do know that this is Martin Perot, but we don't have a uh, thing. But like Charles here, the bosun's mate, we're guessing. Like, we really are guessing. It's a good guess. Perished in the doom. Who is this? Who the heck is this guy? One of the seamen. Wow, okay. So, I mentioned this guy. And, again, it's going by his outfit. But I think he is the gunner's mate. I think this, for example, is one of the uh, carpenters. What is a midshipman? I'm sorry, I gotta do this too. Actually, let's just do it this way. Officer in training assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn the ship operations. 
usually of privileged status. So there are three guys that are midshipmen of privileged status. No offense, it's not going to be the Chinese. These guys are midshipmen. Or the gunner and the gunner's mate. Fell overboard. We know nothing about this guy. That's a surgeon. Is he the surgeon mate? He's standing right next to the surgeon. Oh, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me, too. And then he was thrown overboard. See, there's so much I can make by inferences that I'm not 100% sure on everything. Like, that's the helmsman. He's at the helm. But this guy's standing right next to the surgeon, and nobody else is. Wait, why was that crossed off? They both ha also have ties. Yeah. Oh, these are crossed off because we're not certain. What I might have to do is I might have to go probably off camera because we're getting close to a, a, I might have to go and just remove everybody's names so they appear back onto the, uh, God damn, God damn it. I'm out of time and I made progress this round, but I, I don't feel like I made enough progress. But that's it. We're at the end of our time. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. So many questions. So many questions. We're over halfway done, though. And the rest of it is cleanup work. The rest of it is just going through and figuring out who all these people are. Figured out who this guy was. Six ticks more than the other episodes. Now, we'll continue this tomorrow. I have things to do, so it cannot happen tomorrow. But Friday, Friday I might not do another three-hour tour. And we knock out three episodes of this of uh, mystery hour for now though shoot i wanted more time because a lot of this is still really interesting to me because but it's also like the boring parts of detective work the actual paperwork part but it's it doesn't make it less important it's just frustrating so okay let's go ahead and call it good here and move on yeah, I think that's probably the way we should do this. 
So, all right. Thanks to everybody who showed up today. Thank you, Doom Lad. Thank you, Meat Gets Dirty. And anybody else who happens to be in the background. I know Vern is back there somewhere lurking. Um, anybody who sees the YouTube, have a great night. I hope I uh, made your day a little bit brighter, if a little more mysterious, as we clear up the dusty cobwebs of the past of the ship. If I told you so you guys have a great night. Times, my dear, never to fall in love with the man who drinks from the well of despair. I thought from the very start 